Over the past six or seven months, we've taken a new approach to our marketing outreach work, one that's built on the best principles of account-based marketing. So where rather than just look at an individual sector, you look at individual target companies within that sector, and then with what we're doing, start to look at individuals within the companies within the sector. So we really get focused and we're really honing in on the best possible leads for you. But we've beyond sort of account-based marketing, we've made it more efficient through um, the use of automation and some, some technology that I'll mention in a second to make sure that you spread your, what, your net as widely as possible within a very defined market. Um, and this is what we do. We, um, we've been running campaigns across digital media channels, so PPC, for example, display, social, email, and using data from client CRMs, from Lead Forensics, which is an incredibly um, useful platform that we're using at the moment, and LinkedIn, specifically LinkedIn Sales Navigator, to build a list of key target companies and enable one-to-one -one relationships directly with decision makers, influencers at those companies. So how do we get to those decision makers and influencers in the right companies? Well, typically, there you have a sort of typical organization, a very skeleton um, diagram of an organization. And when traditionally you start your marketing campaign, you might think, right, these are the two most important people within the organization that I really want to focus on. I want to focus on maybe the MD and maybe the CMO. Brilliant, we'll go for them. But if you go for those two people, you're literally narrowing the net down to two at very best. And that gives you a, a huge um, failure rate potential. I mean, sometimes you probably also might think about product managers, marketing managers, and sales managers. They could pr prove valuable for you. So you've got a potential target audience within the organization of five. However, when what we've been doing is looking broader than that. And so when you start looking beyond the usual subjects, you go from that five, you, you, you actually get to six, and you get to nine, and then you get up to 34 potential contacts straight away. And we're finding that's incredibly useful and valuable in the, in the effectiveness of our marketing. Here's an example for you. Um, this was a bit of research we did when we were developing a marketing campaign for one of our clients. Um, one of the target companies we identified was Joe Malone. Um, we were going to target them with LinkedIn advertising, Facebook, display, direct mail, email. And we were going to supplement that with automated LinkedIn outreach from the sales representatives within our client's company to key decision makers at Joe Malone. And that would be about profile views, profile interactions. We would do some initial automated outreach, some connection requests, and create some initial collateral that they could engage with. And by doing that, looking at Joe Malone, this, the, the, um, the sector was packaging. So initially there was one packaging contact at Joe Malone. However, using LinkedIn Sales Navigator and setting the correct parameters, we immediately, within seconds, identified all of these different people who had some part to play in the decision-making buying process relating to packaging at Joe Malone. And with the system we've got created, where we're doing automated outreach on behalf of the client sales team via LinkedIn Sales Navigator, just a very light touch, would you like to connect? Here's some content. And then also supplementing that with some advertising that appeared in the feeds of all of these people, some content, some posts that we could see, that they could see. We were able to increase brand awareness. We were able to give them the opportunity to interact with the client collateral. We were giving them a the chance to like posts, to follow the company LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, to visit the company website, to download content and ultimately request demos. And this, we were finding, beyond the, the CMO, beyond the MD, we were often reaching sort of 50 or 60 people within a company at this point. And whilst not everyone has a, a direct part to play in the actual buying at the end of it, a lot of people are very happy to refer you on to the right people within the company. And that's the great strength of this. The strength is the automation at the start, the automation of the outreach on behalf of your sales teams. So they are already generating leads. But also, when you get to people within the company, they tend to be happy to pass you on. They'll say, uh, thanks for the connection. I'm not exactly the right person, but I am interested in what you've got to say. The person you need to speak to is, and then they'll pass on the details of the contact that you need. It's proven to be a fantastically organic system of referral that's given us some great results. Um, and I'll just give you some examples. This is a real campaign. It was, it was from a smaller pot. Um, it was for 24 target companies. Um, now, by doing the marketing automation, uh, the, the LinkedIn automation, sorry, 
as long as uh, along with the targeted advertising and the content sharing and the liking of posts and sharing of posts, all of that, we managed to reach 100% of the 24 companies, all of the companies we reached. And within that, as as the activity has gone on, we've managed to establish leads within 12 of those companies. So 50% of the companies now have active leads within them, and that actually means 30 active leads from just 24 companies. And of those 30 active leads, we've actually booked 10 sales meetings, 10 qualified sales meetings within the target audience, which is a fantastic return on just 24 companies being targeted. And um, crucially, as I mentioned, and very strongly for the ongoing marketing, we've managed to get 21 referrals. So those people who said, I'm not the right person, here is the right person. They've passed us on to the actual decision maker. So overall, the message to response conversion has been a rate of 9.8%, which is pretty much unheard of um, in terms of direct marketing outreach lead generation. 